Welcome back. Here's something you may not know. After decades, Frozen Dead Guy Days, yeah, it's a thing, has moved from its original home in Nederland, Colorado, out to Estes Park. Well, our John McMichael made the trip to the only other location in the state where you can compete in the wild sport of coffin racing. The energy is high. Things are going to get wild. I need you to tell me, what is this? Frozen Dead Guy Days. Let's make some noise, Estes! So in Estes Park, we built a coffin and we're going to race an obstacle course. 90 seconds carrying a coffin is a lot of work. We have six pallbearers and one corpse. I'm actually going to be dead in the coffin. Round and round they go. So yep, you're going to be hoisting and going and hoping your corpse doesn't fall out of your coffin. Are you at all nervous that they'll drop you? Oh, they are going to drop you. They told me <laughs> that if we're not winning, they're going to lunge me forward so I cross the finish line. All right, we're approaching the final stretch. <laughs> That's not a normal thing to say. Sure it is. Very normal. Very normal. The creativity is amazing in these coffins. Yeah! And they're off. What does it look like? What does it sound like? Um, chaos. Flavor. Fight. Flavor. Fight. The guys are ready. The guys are ready. Come on, who's gonna get around the fastest? Frozen Dead Guy Days is the uh, name of a festival that celebrates a frozen man that resides in a shed in Netherland. He wanted to be cryogenically frozen and was, and then they built around that. This put Netherland on the map, in my opinion. Let's make some noise! <laughs> It's not Halloween, but you certainly could be fooled into thinking it was by coming in here. Oh, easily. Oh, no, it's way better than that. You got great corpses, you got great teams. Is it first time, or second time, third time? First time. First time. How do you prep for running an obstacle course with a coffin? <laughs> well, uh, mimosas, weightlifting. <laughs> An inhaler. Yeah, sure. <laughs> and good friends. We learned a lot from last year, so this year we're gonna we're gonna bring the heat. Let's go! Let's go I would consider this festival feral. So anything we can do to live up to that spirit is my goal. How does it feel running in a different town? Different. Different. <laughs> it's not in Netherlands, but it's still frozen dead guy days, and I love that it found a home and that it has some room to breathe and grow. Colorado should be. It's weird, it's fun, and everyone's just so nice. You want to be in a land of weirdos, like, here you are. This is the place. 